Where can we find you on Twitter and on the internet? Elizabeth CB or SlateTechPDX.com is uh, my business website. And you're here to talk about Open Slate? Mm -hmm. Open Slate. One of the projects that we're working on, um, it's a piece of software that allows a business, a new business, to fast track out without um, scrambling to find all the different kinds of uh, software that you need to run a business. Um, or a old business that just is tired of their old stuff. Um, it's a very simple pop it on the server, the clients automatically have access to the software, and it includes uh, things like simple accounting. If you don't need QuickBooks, just, you know, what are your payments, what are your um, uh, invoices, that kind of thing, um, client management and HR management, that kind of thing. And then um, it's extendable to um, include extras uh, that some businesses need, like a point of sale system, um, excluding the credit card um, processing, which mm -hmm. that adds a whole new dimension that we're not ready to deal with yet, but um, entirely open source. So. Yeah, I would imagine that <laughs> dealing with credit cards, would, you wouldn't necessarily want it to be quite so open source. Right, that's, that's right. one thing that I could think of that you'd kind of want to keep that tightly guarded secret. Yeah, it's it's not so much that. It's just that the um, there's a lot of certifications and whatnot you need mm -hmm. with um, credit card processing and uh, dealing directly with um, banks, in, uh, infrastructure, and their API, and it's just a lot of headache that um, you know a simple credit card machine for a small business. It, it's easy, Simple. yeah. So what made you guys decide to take this and, and make an open source product? Well, we, we had thought originally um, uh, infrastructure in a box, that we'd take open source solutions and put them in a box and um, install it that way. But it, it lacked the communication between uh, each piece of software. So you would almost have to double up on some data mm -hmm. when you don't really need to double up and um, some of the solutions were a little bit more in-depth or a little too light. Nothing really seemed to fit exactly what we want. So it's not so much we're trying to reinvent the wheel, but we're uh, just trying to make one solution in uh, one box. So instead of going with one of the major, big, extra heavy stuff everywhere, don't know where it's come from, you're just trying to give someone something that's more transparent and yeah. easily usable all as one package. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and also, uh, partially we open source, our, the clients that we want to get aren't necessarily the people who are able to download and, and program a piece of software because mm -hmm. they'll, they can find their own solutions. Yeah. Our client is the one who's unable to do that. So it, we don't really have the concerns about um, what if somebody copies our product because yeah. you know, part of what we want is, is uh, the managed services client. But I think uh, Chris will talk more about that when he comes back on. So fantastic! Is there anything else you want to tell us? Um, Pre-alpha stages right now. Um, we're hoping to get a beta in a couple of months, Great. and uh, it'll be pretty good. And what do you have on your on your white ribbon? Elizabeth CB. Oh, she's got a Twitter handle. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you.